What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of The Monsters and a Day in Miami. And you know me, Yuli Monster, and I got my son. Hello, Monster. That's right. And today we have a special guest coming out of the red corner, coming out of Broward County, Florida, weighing in at 75 pounds, standing at 4'6", Giovanni Nyquil Nichols! Let's go, baby! Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, that's right. We got the man himself. That's right, that's right. Good to have you here, man. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm glad. I've been waiting for this already, you know? That's right. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, I want to start it off because uh, everybody's looking at this belt. He just won the the Golden Gloves in uh, Georgia. Sugar Bear in Georgia, Georgia, Atlanta. And Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. That's awesome, man. How did that go? Easy work, man. <laughs> Let's go. That's awesome, man. It's great to see him. He was with me actually the day before in uh, in Tampa, Florida. We were there for the BYB fights. Yeah, fun fight. Fun yeah. fight. Yeah, you yeah. got to get in the ring and and yeah. uh, and take pictures with all uh, everybody that won. Cuban That's- Assassin. He did a great job. Um. Cub, um, shout out to him and Cuban Assassin. Y'all did amazing, bro. That's right. Amazing That's right. Work. That's right. They kicked. They kicked that. Yeah. That's awesome. Speaking of fights, um, we got my man Yuli the Monster on May tenth in Denver, Colorado. That's right. That's right. That's yes, right. Sir. Guys, don't miss out. Yeah. But um, so tell us, man, how how was Georgia? I know easy work, but you know you guys had to drive up there from Tampa, right? Yeah. yeah. Ge- Georgia was fun. I went to the um Georgia State Fair. And I had a lot of fun there, and um, it was a good experience for my second time there. Nice, it was awesome. Well, I see you know you always with your pops, which is which is awesome. You got a great dad. Yep. You know he's helping you a lot with your amateur career. That, mm-hmm. That's great to see, man. And uh, I know you wanted. To say yeah, something. I got a few questions for you, my boy. <laughs> All right. So first, how did like how what inspired you to do boxing? Because like at a young age, you know. And you've been doing this for how long? Uh, about four years, three and a half years. All right, that's a long time. I mean, like, so coming from a guy like you, like, what inspired you at such a young age? Nothing really inspired me. It was just that I got into it and I loved the sport, so I just kept continuing and continuing. So you inspired yourself. Yeah. <laughs> did you start? Did you start boxing because like your parents just put in it? it you know, put you in boxing just to, like as a like after school type thing at first. Nah, it was it was just something. So first I did jujitsu and then um, kickboxing and then I did boxing and then I tried it out and then I just stuck with it. Nice, nice. So yeah. you like boxing more than uh, any of the combat yeah. sports? Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, what do you think about you know what do you think about kids in in, in boxing at a young age? You think it's it's healthy? I think it's healthy because there's there might be a little bit bullies in middle school and um elementary school, so it will be healthy for them. Um, somebody bullies them, you know. Um, at least you know how to. Defend yeah, yourself. yeah, defend. Yeah. I agree with you. I I always say I always like to tell parents that it's good to have your kids in some type of combat sports because when you know how to defend yourself, um, you're you're less likely to be a bully. You know, once yeah. you're like confident in yourself, people who are confident in themselves and know how to defend themselves don't bully people. They actually yeah. help the kids who get bullied. Yeah, they get humbled. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. And uh, you got any other? I know you just finished this tournament, but you got any other tournaments coming up anytime soon? Oh, uh, no, nah. no, not really, no, not right now. Yeah. And I know you're number one in the state of Florida too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about that. How how'd you become number one in the state of Florida? Um, same thing like this. I mean, we we um went um to Palaka, I believe, Palaka, Florida, Florida, and then um, it was just a tournament. Yeah, it was it was a tournament, I I believe, and then I fought. No, I don't I don't know, but from there from there it was it was just easy work. All my fights were easy work. Yeah, you, and you you I, what what is your record in amateurs? Uh, I'm four. Um. Five and one now, five and one because my um loss. I actually went to Georgia and I tried out for the silver gloves and I got um weight drained because I had to drop seven pounds. So that I was throwing up every night, every day. So it was that was that was not good. Yeah, making weight is the toughest part of fighting. Huh? Yeah. So what what do you think about uh, cutting weight for kids? You think you should just fight at your weight? Are you? I mean, if you're at like. Um, hundred ninety pounds. You got like body fight, body fat to actually drop. Right. When you're at like sixty five, seventy five, seventy, 
I don't think you should drop weight because you don't really have any fat to drop. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially with your body type. You don't got no fat, right? Yeah. My boy's ripped with the oh, six muscle. pack. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. So tell us about your loss. Uh, it was it was bad because as soon as I started walking, I started getting cramps. I was warming up with the um with the Florida coach that um wanted to um help me um win the fight, and um I I was getting cramps. I was cramped up. I couldn't move. Basically, yeah. So in the middle of the fight, you were you weren't you were not. Your... I wasn't energized. I wasn't my full self. Okay, so and you were lost by points. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, you know, we like to say, me and Junior like to say, it's not a, it's not a loss. It's what? It's a, it's, you're just learning. That's right. That's right. Learning it's a lesson. Experience. That's right. It's a lesson. You know, all the best fighters have losses, you know, and, and you got to learn off them. And keep going. Um, How's school? School's good. I got yeah. A's and B's all the time. All right. If you don't get A's and B's, you can't box? I don't know. I still could, I still could box, but I know my mom would be mad. All right. Mm. All right. That's good, man. You got to, you got to do good at school. You got to, you know. You got to make sure you get good grades in order to, because boxing isn't forever. So hopefully you learn something that you could, you know. Continue off of. Exactly. Create a business with Well, it. we're talking about punching people and all that stuff. Speaking of punching people, you, you punch the island boys in the stomach. Yeah. How did that feel? Like, did that feel good? Did, did you feel bad for them? Or you are like, yeah, like I just proved the world was, that the island boys like a right? Mm-mm, situation, yeah. Cause <laughs> shout out, shout out to Yuli, cause he actually got me into that event. So thank you. I, I thank you for that. Of course, thank you. Got you. And um, so it was just, it was just mind blowing. So the day after, right, people just started posting and went viral, hundred, hundred million views worldwide, yeah. all, all posts, million views. And so I, yeah, yeah, I know it went viral and everything. It, it landed every on, it viral. Yep. Um. How did you get to how did you get to ab check them? Did, did they tell you that somebody had Nah, my them? dad, my dad, he actually he actually asked them if um so first I took a picture with them and then we hung out and then we saw them again and then dad asked them to get an ab check and they said yeah. So yeah. Oh, they were, oh, Shout out to your pops for the viral moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. At the moment though, like because they're twins, so yeah. Did, did they just they wanted to just say you do it you do it like as a scared thing? Nah, they both actually wanted to do it, but then the other as soon as I had checked, um, the brother, the other brother dropped his shirt right away. Ah, yeah, right away. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, oh, yeah. No. And the yeah. other, and the brother that you punched my. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, for you folded him in half. Yeah, yeah. Like, Is that throwing up or no? Uh, I I, th- I don't know, bro. I think so though. Think, mm-hmm. you know, before the show ends, we got somebody in here who wants to get an ad check too. So, you know, hopefully, we go viral on that too. Speaking of um, folding someone, if you guys would have saw the UFC 300, Max Holloway against Justin Gagey, that was the best fight I ever seen by Max. Oh, it, like Max Holloway had many other good fights, but that was like he he even said that was probably like the second biggest out of all his fights. That was a nasty knockout with that right hand. Yeah, that's right, it was nasty. Yeah, you watched the fights. Uh, I didn't watch it personally, but my dad told me about yeah, it. Yeah, no, it was, it was There's crazy. one he, second left and hit him with a right right hook or overhand right. I don't yeah, know what it was. Right yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, my um, I actually saw on um, YouTube, he actually got, a, I'm pretty sure, a $300,000 bonus. Yeah, he actually got $600,000. He got two bonuses. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So, he so, did? Yeah. So no shout way. out to, to Max Holloway, man. Bless that MMA. He killed it. <laughs> yeah. He killed it. And um, so you say you don't, you don't know if you have any fights, no tournaments right now lined up? No. Nah. Do you train every day? Of course. Yeah? Yeah. Do you spar? Of course. Oh, it's, it's what boxing about. That's Practicing, right. right? That's right. How many times a week? Uh, so I'm, first, how many times a week do you train boxing? Monday through Saturday? Monday to, um, yeah, Monday to Saturday. Okay. And then Sunday I have like, um, there's this football practice, shout out Grindhouse. Uh, they actually helped me with my speed and agility. Okay, nice. So Sunday you're working too. Yeah, playing work, nice. With your footwork, technically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got that uh, Geronte Davis and Ryan Garcia in him. Yeah. Right, he got that. I am yeah. uh, footwork. Footwork is yeah, very important in boxing. And um, okay, and sparring. How many times a week are you sparring? Uh, two two days a week. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, two days a week. Yeah. Okay, and and the sparring partner, they're from your gym or kids from all every, anywhere. Anyone can get it, as Andrew and Rhoda said. Yeah, anyone can get it. So if you want to spawn 75 pounds, come shout me out. 
That's awesome. I like that. I like to hear that. 75 pounds looking for some work. We got Say Nike you do for they know where to go to. Go to um play boxing, Cotton Park, or um High Hialeah Gardens. Okay. Yeah, go right. ahead. Go ahead okay. and go. Go. Hopefully we got some people sh- showing up. Yeah. And um and you and who who are you boxing with right now? Who's you, who's your coach? Uh, Coach Mori um from play boxing. Coach um Mari Ramos. He helped me tremendously with this fight. He he he's the best coach. He he gives me like if I do something wrong, he says all the details and he just fixes it. I yeah. swear he's such a good coach. Yeah, shout out good to play coach. boxing and and Maori Maori is my guy. Uh, he's a great coach. He's awesome with kids. He's awesome. And also, kids. I have another shout out. Um, um, Jorge Linares. He also helped me with this fight. He's also a great coach. I love him as well. Um, so yeah, go no, check it out right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I shout out to Jorge Linares. Uh, he's uh, he was a world champion. He's four time world champ. Four time world champ. He fought uh, he, he fought everyone. Yeah, he, he's an amazing, amazing fighter. If you don't check it out, you get an ab check. That's right. That's right. We're gonna have Nyquil show up at your door with ab check. You want that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you, you what, what, on your time off, what do you like to do, man? When you're not boxing, I like to play with Yuli Junior. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you what do you guys play? Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. I I just got the new Madden 2014 yeah. him and um, you know, all game. Thank nice. God. Nice, nice. Modern Warfare as well. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, I know Nyquil for a few years. Him and his dad. You know, I've I, I've seen him at events. We met a few years ago, and uh, it's awesome to see that you've continued with what you're doing. Um, and you've really grown, man. You you've become famous, though. Yes, Everybody sir. knows you. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's awesome, man. That's what. <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like that's what happens when you're consistent, and you you keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you know, doors are opening and people mm-hmm. are seeing you. So, so yep. good for you, man. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And. Uh, what, what what's your favorite subject in school? I like reading. I suck at math. Yeah. <laughs> suck at math. Yeah. History, history, science, reading, all that, but not math. I mean math a little bit. Yeah. What grade yeah. you in ninth class? Fifth grade. Nice. Nice. All right. And you're you live up in Broward, right? Yep. We go to school up there. All right, cool. And uh any girlfriends? <laughs> not yet. Good, good, good. Don't don't let the girls uh deter you from what you're doing, man. So I always see a lot of people in the comments. They hating on you, and I know, and I know you know how to talk back to them. Everybody got so haters. like um. Yeah. So what do you got to say to those haters? Like straight to the camera, uh-huh. bro. When I go to my fights, I win just to shut y'all haters up. So you could keep talking. I'm still gonna keep winning. You are just my fuel. Just keep saying stuff. I don't care. Just I, keep saying. I love that. I love that. I love that. And, and let me tell you, uh, the only people who have haters are the guys who are doing something and doing things right. So yep. if you don't have haters, you're not doing anything. Yeah. All right, so keep going. And um, so, yeah, so we were in Tampa for the Bare Knuckle Fights too. Yep. You got some love out there from everybody. People were taking pictures with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Nike was famous out there, right? You did, uh, you did a um, ab check to this YouTuber. If you guys don't know him, oh, go check right. him out, Ash, uh, Ash Alk. Um, yeah, I gave him my ab check. Yeah, you gave him an abject? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got to see that. I can't wait to post that on YouTube, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, so so you won in Georgia. How was the drive back home? I know it was a long drive, but it was a happy one, huh? Yeah, it was a happy one. Yeah. We we stopped by everywhere. Um, we stopped by many places. People, I was walking outside with my belt, and people just, um they they um saw it, and they, they wanted to take pictures and stuff. I already got faith. Nice, nice. I, <laughs> I like how you said, I already got this. Uh, hey, you know? You, you deserve it. Well, the hard. Thank you. What do you got to say to your fans? Nah. Because you got haters and oh, fans. Stick with me. Stick with me. I'm going to be the future champ. Watch. That's right. That's, Watch. right. That's what I call them, the future. <laughs> That's right. Hey, and so there's a question they asked me. Give me uh, the top five uh, boxing gyms, in your opinion. What are the top five <laughs> boxing gyms? Here in South Florida, cause I know you're from Broward, so let's go from either Broward or Miami. Well, of course, my gym, which is hmm, um play boxing. Okay. Uh, hmm, I haven't been to that many good gyms actually. Uh, there's like there's like three maybe. Uh, there's a uh, thing. About uh, what was the one where you trained with Lenora's? Oh yeah, Brawler's Box, Brawler's Box. Okay, nice. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Uh-huh. And um, which one else? Uh, you ever go to Tropical Park Boxing? Yeah, that one, but I don't. I haven't um like stick um stuck there like that much. 
Um, yeah, but I would have to take a long, long thinking because I've been to a lot of gyms. Uh, yeah, you have, you have, you have. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about your diet. What do you what do you eat? I don't really have a diet. I whatever I eat, I stay I She's stay at my weight. I walk around seventy four pounds, bro. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you, so that, that's awesome that you fight at the way you walk around at, so you can yep. enjoy what you eat, yep. stuff, and not have to worry about dying. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Do you eat healthy? Of course. Yeah. yeah. What's healthy to you? What do you eat? Uh, my dad be cooking up them um luxurious meals. <laughs> that um, we <laughs> got that healthy. We got though. the lamb. We got broccoli. We got zucchini. We got steak. Uh. Nice, nice. So you eat vegetables. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Speaking yeah. of food, you got any um any shout outs sponsored by that, that trap bocce? If you want to eat some hibachi, go get that trap bocce. I like yeah. that. I like that. I like that. Where's it's trap right? bocce at? Uh, uh, sunrise. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Guys, go check out trap bocce. I gotta go check that out. We like hibachi. And uh, okay, so so that. Oh yeah, I have another one too. Uh, be plug. So. If you go over there and put the code NICO, you get, um, I believe, 40 or 30% off. That's great. So what do they serve? Go check it out. They get, um, they got protein cookies. They got protein waffles. They got um, shakes. They got refreshers. Nice. I need those cookies, man. We need to get those guys a plug. I need, I need, I need some cookies. Hey, uh, do you do running? Do you run? Of course. Yeah. And how many miles do you run when you run? Uh, I only stick, I, I stick in like minutes. Okay. Minutes, so maybe like thirty minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes depends. Okay, you do a lot of sprint work. Sprints, and stuff like that? sprints, yeah. yeah. My dad's teaching them the uh, play boxing. He's gonna start doing sprints. He's nice. uh, physical training okay. for the. Gym. That's awesome. Yeah, I know your dad used to do it as well somewhere else, right? In Grand House, I think he used to do it. Uh, no, um, Davy Powell. Oh, Davy Powell. That's right. Okay. So when you're not boxing, you say you like to play Fortnite, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you are you any good at that? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> nah, nah. What What else do you do besides boxing? Uh, you are you playing any other sports? I used to play football. Okay, that's how I met you. That's right. Yep. That's right. Um, football. I used to play. What else? That's, that's right. That's crazy. We met at a football game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, but he he was in a younger division than me, so he was saying that we be he would be he beat us because that year I was playing. He was like. I beat y'all, and he was like, "Nah, you did not beat us." <laughs> what? What? Who did you play for? The Cooper City Colts. Cooper City Colts. Do you, do you like? Do you still play football or no? Nah, football. it's too political. Yeah. Like the coaches, the coaches' um son be um the coach's son. He will be the slowest player and be the fastest. I mean, he will be the slowest player and still play um running back. Right, like right, right. Or not, like yeah. yeah, he will be the worst player and still play in yeah, position. Yeah, yeah, every position. Yeah, that's the problem here. The coach is son sometimes. Yeah. They put you in. And uh so what what is it? What what do you I mean, I guess you, you eat whatever you want, whenever you want, because you stay on weight, but what's your what's like your favorite dessert? Uh favorite dessert? Uh uh oof. I got a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm a cookie monster. I love cookies. I like um like red velvet stuff. Yeah, you like red yeah. velvet stuff. All right, all right. And uh, what's up with you, Junior? What do you think? Um, I- I'm a chunky boy. I love everything on the seat. You know, <laughs> I-, I-, I cook stuff at night when my parents are sleeping. When I'm doing those all nighters, you know, <laughs> you once in a while I get up um take a chill pill from everything that I'm doing, and um, but yeah, I've just been enjoying it, enjoying life. That's right. That's right, man. That's good. That's good. Um, what? Well, my next fight is May 10th in Denver, Colorado. BYB. That's right. Go check it out. And if you guys in Miami can't make it out to Denver, we have a watch party at Tacos and Tattoos in Kendall off uh, 117 on 104th Street. And uh, May 10th, watch party at Tacos and Tattoos. Don't and miss it. food is fire, so don't miss out too on that. That's yeah. right. The food is fire over there. That's right. Uh, you guys... Uh, are you guys? Where you guys? Are you guys coming out to Denver for for the fight? I don't know. Dad doesn't like flying. Oh, that's right. That's right. Dad don't like flying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's too long of a drive. I keep asking him, "Can we please fly?" I wanted to fly to Georgia. This man doesn't want to go. Yeah. So I don't know. We might go. We might go. We might drive. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, let me ask you: Are you planning on on turning pro when you get older? Of course. Yeah. yeah. So you want to see how I make boxing your career? <laughs> okay. What age do you think you would like to go uh, turn pro? 18, 16, 17. Yeah. I know um, 
Shout out to Xander Zayas. You know, I know him since he was a kid. And uh, I think Top Rank signed him when he was like 16. Yeah. But when was his first pro fight? A couple of years later, right? It wasn't when he was 16. Oh, no. Dad knows a lot about him. Yeah. 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 So 18, 19, you're thinking about turning pro? Yeah. All right. Being world champ or what? Mm-hmm. All right. You got to, you got to, you know, then as you get older, then, then it gets, uh, it gets a little tougher. You know? Yeah. But if you keep training, it'll be easy work. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be looking like Floyd Mayweather when I'm like 54. That's right. That's right. I know you've had another, uh, another couple of viral moments, haven't you? Did you uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I've been working with, um, Yo Angelo, shout him out. Uh, I've been doing my, um, this, um, so it's called Yonuts. Should go there. Oh, uh, fire. Yonuts, so they got these smashed donuts with ice cream in them. Every every kid in the world should know him already, bro. He got he got um the best donuts. Um, he puts donuts with ice cream, right? Yeah, and, and, and he's he, like viral. He got the sh- he got the shakes and bro. Every time I want a donut, I'm going over there. <laughs> I don't care about no Dunkin' or no Krispy Kreme, bro. Ooh, why nah, Krispy Kreme? Oh, come on. Nah, but but donuts is different. They put ice cream in the yeah. sandwiches. It's fire. Um. What's up, man? I know you've been you've been rapping too. I see you in the studio. Yeah. What's up with that? Uh, we were gonna make a song on Monday, but uh, it got canceled. Um, sadly, I wanna. I like going in the studio. It was fun. Yeah. How long you been? Uh, how long you been doing music? I don't know. Maybe like two months now. Three months. No. Yeah. Fire! 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 I only have three tracks. Yeah. Yeah. I saw. I saw one of the tracks. I heard one of the tracks. I love. I love. The- well, actually, I heard two of the tracks. Right. Yeah. They're fire. Um, how'd you get into music? How'd you get to start doing that? Dad, dad just, um, said, you want to do, um, music? And I just said yes. And then I went in the studio the first time and I just want to keep going. That's awesome. Your dad got your back on everything you want to do. Yep. That's great. That's great. That's yeah, a like good that. question. So how, what's the difference between your mom and your dad? Like what's your dad's reaction when you're fighting and what's your mom's reaction when you're fighting? My mom, she be screaming and, um, my dad gets very, very, um, into oh, the he, fight. Yeah, he got very into the fight. He's um focused on what I'm trying to do. Even after the fight, he tells me what I did wrong and right. That's good. That's good. You need somebody like that in your corner. Tough love. <laughs> That's right. And and so back to the music. You are uh, you have some, are you writing your music? How would you get into uh, uh, I have a writer. You have a writer? Yeah. Okay, so so they write down your lyrics and and what well, you just want to move and yeah. fit it. Have you done any videos? Uh no, not yet. We were going to, but then my YouTube got shut down. Oh yeah, why? What happened to YouTube? Uh, uh, um, I'm not gonna say no names, but somebody reposted um my video, and then YouTube thought it was it was actually um me. Thought that I had multiple accounts posting the video, but it was not me. So then they they shut off my monetiza- monetization, and um they gave it to the other the other people. So, but what happens now? Do you, are you able to get yeah, YouTube I'm, back? Yeah, I'm suspended until June something. Okay, all right, right before your birthday, so I get yep. that, that YouTube money back. Yep. All right, and how often do you do music? Uh, not that often, no. Nah. And, and but and and for, but from one moment to another, you just wanted to get in the studio. Yeah, cause it, it's fun when you're not doing anything in the house. You really want to go to the studio. Or yeah, I hate just sitting in the yeah. house all day. You know, I just want to go like take a nap, drive around the city. You know, yeah. live in Miami, so we gotta enjoy Miami. That's right. That's right. And you know, you know, Junior, junior used to do some music too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was back then, huh? Yeah, Junior got a little music video too. I think we should play that right <laughs> nah, now. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> um. So I know you met so many celebrities, and out of like every moment that you met a celebrity, what was your favorite moment? Uh, my favorite moment was um when I was with um uh Masvidal. He he. Mom. So yeah, Masvidal. I'm gonna meet him tomorrow because there's um the um the press. I conference. think the press. Yeah, the press. So um, shout out to Masvidal, Game Bread. Uh yeah, so that was the funnest moment because um he he was teaching me he um so he wanted me to shadow box and uh, it was just a fun thirty minutes up there. I know I, you know what now that you say shadow box I know whenever somebody whenever we tell somebody you're a boxer first thing they want you to do is shadow yeah, box shadow right? box <laughs> yeah. Right. I remember we met uh shout out to my boy Ahmed El we at the at that uh at that three o five day yeah he's a badass boxer too he's like hey, first thing he said is like, let me see your shadow box <laughs> yeah. shadow box for the camera right now let me see that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, and uh, so a shout out to Brawler's Gym as well. I know you've been training over there at Brawler's, right? Yep. What, what, what do you got going on over there? Jorge Linares, very good trainer. Like I said, um, he got me on. He's fixing my form and doing, um, you know, just doing like a, uh, like a coach would do. Yeah, but better. And what do you think about Brawler? It's a nice gym, right? Yeah, very nice yeah, gym. Very yeah. nice gym. All, all, all brand new equipment, everything's cool. Mm-hmm. There. And so so what, what co- this summer? I know this summer is Golden Gloves in uh, in Florida, right? No, uh, Golden Gloves in, um, wait, I think so. No, 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 it, that passed. It, that I was passed in the away. Hard Rock, yeah. Oh, was it at the Hard Rock? Yeah. Okay. Did, you, didn't, you didn't fight on that one? Nah, because the original, the original gym that I was at, I'm not gonna say any names. Uh, they didn't. They didn't. Um, they didn't tell us about it, so I didn't get to compete. That's why we did the um, Georgia, the Georgia Golden Gloves, okay, nice. which um, is good. What about? Yeah, that's awesome. What about? Uh, what about for the Olympics, like Junior Olympics? You planning on on trying? Nah, because I need a. You know, everybody, every boxer needs a rest after he's just fun. Right. Right. Yeah. So, but why is uh, I know when I know the Olympics is too soon for for these Olympics. So I think the Olympics are this year. Yeah. But but for like the upcoming Olympics, you think you, think you wanna wanna be part of the Olympic team? Uh, sure. When I get older, right. yeah. But uh, me and my dad we were speaking about it because back in the day they um they were um headgear to go to the Olympics. Yeah. Now they they don't have no headgear, so yeah. uh we're not trying to compete in it. Because people be headbutting and you could get brain damage before you even become pro. Yeah. So, yeah. what what do you think about that brain damage in, in boxing? Have you thought about that? Uh, yeah, I have, but I don't think I don't think um people could touch me because I got them fresh moves, bro. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. <laughs> so yeah, your defense is very important. Yeah, that boy not cool, sl- uh, slim with it. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and, and defense is important in boxing, uh, especially not to get hurt, not to get any brain damage. Yep. Uh, and and your hands? Have you ever hurt your hands? No. Not at all. Any no. injuries from boxing at all? No. No. Do, do you do any recovery? Do any like ice yeah. baths? Ice sauna? baths. Yeah. Sauna. Brawlers. Massages? Brawlers box. Yeah. Massage, of course. <laughs> Of course, Rollers Box. They got an ice bath and a sauna in there, so I be using that. Yeah, it's awesome. They got a great facility there. Mm-hmm. And what else? What you do? Any other recovery? Uh, I was thinking about doing cryotherapy, but that thing, that thing is expensive. Is it expensive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's. I mean, ice bath is, is. I think it's better. I've done cryo. Yeah. And I think I, I like the ice bath a little better. Yeah. And okay, so we're in 2024. It's only. It's about to be summertime. You already won this belt. Uh, what else you got in mind to do? I don't know. I'm I'm thinking of where um get my revenge on the kid that um BB and um Silver Gloves. Yeah, where was that? Uh, that was in Georgia as well. Yeah, so it's yeah. in Georgia. He's a fighter out of Georgia. The kid will beat you. Uh, I think so. Yeah, maybe. Do you know any tournaments that he's doing for you? You could call him out. I'll say come fight me. <laughs> nah, not yet. I'll call him up. Is he still in your weight class? Nah. No, oh, he wasn't at the. Was he at the? He Street was at sixty five. Yeah. No, 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 he wasn't there. He wasn't there? Yeah. Uh, it would have been a good revenge. He was a lefty. So it was, it was very hard for me when I was waiting. Oh, so he was Southpaw. Yeah, Southpaw. So what do you think about fighting Southpaws or fighting Words Dogs? What, what do you feel more comfortable? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? You got something for both of them? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I got that. That's good. I got a left punch and a right punch. Yeah, that's good because when you're fighting people, you could just switch it up midway yep. through, you know? When you get ready for these fights, you know, like when I get ready for my fights, I have to go to the doctor and do eye exams and blow up. Yeah. Uh, you have to do it as well. <laughs> nah, uh, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be taking steroids at this age. No, no, but you don't gotta take steroids. No, they, they, you don't gotta take steroids. Yeah, they, yeah, they but do like blood exams. Yeah, yeah. And just so to like make sure. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Nope. <laughs> I don't like needles at all, bro. Nah. Just like your dad don't like flames. You don't like needles. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from those. See? Um. So, so you're in fifth grade right now. Mm-hmm. You're about to go to sixth. You said got you got straight A's, uh, A's and straight B's. Straight A's and B's. How about math? You said you said you know, they're gonna still gotta be in math. Nine? I got a I got a hundred right now. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any tutors or anything? Or you no no. I don't need no tutor. Ah, huh? all right, good, very good. You don't need no tutor. You say hit that boy the real one. No man. Uh, look, we appreciate having you on. 
you're you you, you you know we we've we've known you for a few years we've seen your career start coming up Thank your you. fame start coming up on instagram you're mm -hmm. doing great uh keep up the hard work man before we end this we got a guy back there that I've been talking so much smack saying that you're a 10 year old and you won't do anything. That's right, that's yeah, right. I think you got to give him a quick ad check real quick. Yeah, yeah. We definitely got to end the show with an ad check, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll Hopefully it goes viral. Check. Maybe, you know, you never know what happens with an ad check. You might, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for, for coming on with us, man, and giving us your time and, and letting us know what you got going on. And uh, everybody follow his career. Geo Nyquil Nichols uh, on Instagram. What is it? Uh, Michael Nichols, N Y Q U I L N I C K E L Z. There it is. There it is. Follow his career. He's only 10 years old. He's already, you know, Georgia Golden Gloves, about to be Florida Golden Gloves. Maybe, hopefully, a gold medal in the Olympics. About to be world champ. That's right. That's right. That's awesome. And me, you catch me May 10th in Denver, Colorado, fighting for the title eliminator. After I beat this dude in front of me, I'll be fighting for the title at BYB at 185 pounds. And I got a watch party at Tacos and Tattoos off of 117 at 104 Street. Shout out to Jay at Tacos and Tattoos. Thank you for the opportunity. Everybody go out there, have your drinks, have your tacos, and watch me get another knockout. And if you're there, you're going to see someone die in front of your face. Uh -huh. Remember, don't blink. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to HD. He um, just actually signed me to his clothing brand so shout out to him shout out to Chabachi, like i was talking on the podcast and shout out to yuli monster for um opening doors for me and um you know getting me um to these special events and um also shout out to coach mori for training me thank you i um uh thank you for all the um uh, um sticking with me after all these years um uh, Jorge Linear is also same for you. Thank you. Uh, and um, yeah, you said the plug earlier, right? Yeah, the plug too. I just make thought sure about those go, cookies. Make sure to go um plug in that code Nyquil and Nichols. Go get thirty percent off, baby. That's right. Let's that's go. Right. That's right, man. And and, and stay tuned on his Instagram. I'll let you know what he's fighting next, so you can keep up with his career. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Hit them with a jab really quick. Hit them with a jab really quick. <laughs> Uh -huh. Then, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like this podcast. That's right. Another day, a day in Miami. The Monsters. We're here with Nightfall Nichols. Thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate you. See you next time.